Hi, I'm Danny from Retro Camera Review, and today I'm holding the massive beast of a camera, the Pentax 6.7. This camera is probably the only one on the market that allows you to shoot 35mm style SLR, except with the power 6.7 negatives. It's probably one of the most common cameras on the market as well, and the price ranges between about $200 to $1,500, though I wouldn't buy one off of eBay without about a $200 to $300 repair budget on mine. But with that being said, this is probably one of my favorite cameras to use for medium format. This camera's pretty much like any other 35 millimeter. You've got your standard bulb to 1,000 shutter speed, but your lenses are a little slower at the fastest being about f2.8, in most cases f4. One of the really great things that shines about this camera is the viewfinder. As you can see, it's got a nice bright viewfinder and you've got your little metering scale right down there. Besides the awesome viewfinder, you've also got this really great wooden handle. And I know it doesn't amount to much in terms of what your picture looks like, but in terms of shooting with this around people, I think it has a certain charm and element to it. The other thing are this, is that the Pentax has really great lenses. They have this super awesome coating that handles like flare really well and color rendition, and they're extremely sharp. I would recommend stopping down a few stops though if you're doing most general portraiture work, but that's with any camera. Rumor has it that this camera isn't very good for handheld work from some of the blogs I've read online, but my general impression is that it's actually very good for handheld work and I would completely disagree. I find it to be a great crossover from 35 millimeter. Sure, it's got that five plus pound weight and the mirror shutter and the, the mirror slap are really heavy, but with a real steady hand, you can still get good images. One of the biggest flaws of this camera is the shutter sync speed for flash. It's a pretty pathetic 1 30th of a second. So don't expect it to use it outside with ambient and flashlight mixed together. I would probably just use it at night when your flash is the only thing illuminating your subject. The other thing is that this camera only really works with uh, lithium or silver oxide batteries. So we've got a lithium battery in here just because silver oxide is kind of hard to find. But don't bother with alkalines because the mirror shutter is going to it's going to freeze up on you and you're going to be thinking your camera's broke when it's not. Overall, I find this camera to be extremely satisfying and useful for composing fine art photography. And I would definitely recommend it as a step up from 35 millimeter or if you're looking to change up your medium format world. And if anybody gives you any trouble, you can use it as a bludgeoning weapon. So that's it for this camera review. If you have a camera you'd like us to review, just send us a link or an email and we'll get back to you about how you can help us out.